I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with a feeder flash for Monday August the 7th we are trudging right through the dog days of summer here and not losing much ground or market position and, and selling a lot of cattle and, and really things are going real well we got into August the first week of August was outstanding we just need to keep it up and somehow hold things together and, and uh, the weather's kind of uh, cooperated we had a hot early summer but we've seen a lot of relief here in the last week or two and, and uh, every day that goes by is one day closer to getting to some cooler temperatures and, and getting into harvest but uh, you look at the board for last week live cattle futures the October contract ended the week at 114.10 that was up $1.68 for the week feeder cattle futures the August contract ended the week at 149.95 up $3.90 for the week fat cattle trade for last week did have some cleanup trade on Friday which will add to the numbers but all we know for sure of was through Thursday with fat cattle 64,700 head of them selling in the five area feeding region but I think there was probably enough trade on Friday to get that closer up into the 90,000 range which is really what we need to be moving on a negotiated basis every week to keep things cleared out but uh, your live steers through Thursday had a weighted average of 117.30 that was kind of steady to maybe a buck higher at the most dress steers averaging 187.35 which was just about steady slaughter was aggressive for last week 634,000 harvested that's up seven from the same week prior and up 51,000 from the same week a year ago box beef cutout values have sure hit a bottom been pretty much steady or close to that the last two weeks so we feel like we've got some support there not going to lose too much more ground your uh, feeder cattle markets for last week your real-time index on beef market central based on an 800 pound steer ended the week at 148.65 that was up two dollars and 83 cents for the week and uh, in reflection of that your cash feeders the trends on your cash feeders in the markets around were two to five dollars higher on yearlings uh, calves just kind of steady firm and just not not moving a whole lot of calves yet but sure looking down the road to move a lot of them but look on your big volume Monday markets here uh, starting out they did not experience all that gain so you're thinking Joplin Oklahoma City they should be up similar to that two to five dollars higher because they were just kind of holding steady coming out of the previous week so should sure be higher and, and then that always starts us off on a on a good foot because uh, whatever happens until something changes Oklahoma National Stockyards is your nation's feeder cattle market everybody's got its eye on that uh, midday on Monday looking to see what the trend is and when it comes out likely two to four two to five dollars higher that's just going to put everybody in a positive mood look at uh, some quotes uh, individual quotes uh, last week late last week on Friday at one o'clock in the afternoon in Lexington Nebraska they had 10 loads of yearling steers there weigh 857 pounds at 154.35 and also selling there in Lexington you can see on Beef Market Central individual quote there 207 head of 857 pound steers bring 156.75 that's your feeder flash for Monday